Kingfishers, the books will say, oh, they have a simple dry rattle. But just listen to the subtleties in that rattle. Listen to the... Sometimes they explode into the rattle. Sometimes they eat gently. Sometimes the, the rattle is ragged. Sometimes it's smooth. Sometimes the little pieces are in bits of twos and threes, and you hear these little segments. And we just assume, of course, it means nothing because they can't have emotional lives like we do. But but there has to be a lot there that, mm -hmm. that they know and understand. Donald Kruzma is a birdsong evangelist. He's been captivated for more than 40 years. His book, The Singing Life of Birds, won the 2006 John Burroughs Medal for Outstanding Natural History Writing. So what is it about birdsong that he finds so enchanting? <laughs> Initially it was as a scientist. You approach things as a scientist. And and the first question, simple question that I asked was, well, okay, this bird learns his songs, but, but from whom does he learn those songs? Does he learn the songs from his father or from other birds? I asked a very simple question, and it took several years to get the <laughs> answer, but, but there, was the, there were these eureka moments that, wow, there were some hints that he could learn from his father, he did learn from his father, but he rejected all of his songs from his father and learned the songs in the little dialect where he set up a mile or two away. And these were Buick's Rins out in Corvallis, Oregon. But behind the science is the simple longing to understand what fellow creatures are saying. And so these songs, they're really a window on the minds of these birds. And once you realize that all these sounds, are, just as I'm talking now, these songs, my voice is a window on, on what I'm thinking. Every time a bird opens its bill and says something, it's a window on, I say it loosely, what it's thinking. There's a process going on up in the brain that led that bird to say that particular sound at that moment. Krudzma and Macaulay Library sound engineer Bill McQuay are fine-tuning recordings for two CDs of bird sounds to accompany the author's newest book. And it's tentatively entitled bird song by the seasons. So what we're doing is putting together two CDs with all the fabulous sounds throughout the year that, that I use for the 24 stories that I tell. <laughs> you can see in here. Despite his fascination with birds, Kruzma has not given up on listening to his own species. My son and I bicycled across the country five years ago. We started in Virginia and we went all the way to Oregon, 4,500 miles, and Virginia and Kentucky in May are just wonderful. But Virginia and Kentucky are also wonderful for listening to human voices because you travel over the Appalachians and you hear all these dialects yeah. of the people. And so I have the most wonderful recordings, not only of bird dialects across the country, but people dialects, talking about birds. That's, that's the next project. <laughs> it's, it's, it's people voices, bird voices. It's, I call it listening to our continents sing. For the Cornell Lab of Ornithology, I'm Pat Leonard.